Florida officials say residents may soon be banned from keeping large reptiles like pythons and anacondas as pets. That comes about a month after an eight-and-a-half-foot Burmese python escaped its tank and strangled a two-year-old girl. We're looking at internet sales, prohibiting internet sales, looking at what kind of industry is, is in Florida now where these snakes are sold, how they're produced, and how they're coming into the state to make uh, d a decision. Governor Charlie Crist called on wildlife officials to track down pythons in South Florida following the toddler's death. Tens of thousands of reptiles may be loose on state and federal land, including the Everglades. No humans have been killed by snakes in the wild, but authorities say an aggressive program is needed to prevent that from happening. That's why this program has been initiated, is to look out for the health, safety, and welfare of the people of Florida. And uh, we'll continue to do whatever we need to do to protect them. Lawmakers have talked about passing laws to stop people from owning large snakes that aren't native to Florida. But if they don't act, the Wildlife Commission can adopt a ban on its own. One of the details the agency will have to figure out is whether people who currently have reptiles in their homes would be allowed to keep them. A state regulation already requires some snake owners to register their pets and pay a $100 fine. Microchips must also be inserted in the animals so they can be identified and matched to their owners if they escape or are released. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.